At the start of any cricket match, you'll see the umpire stand with the two team captains and flip a coin. They're in the process of making a decision about which team will go into bat first, and right now, they're at a chance node. Until the coin is flipped, we can't know what the outcome will be. However, we do know a few things about this particular chance node. We know that there are only two possible outcomes. The coin will land on heads, or the coin will land on tails. Assuming this is a fair coin and a fair toss, we also know that there's a 50% probability of each of these two possible outcomes. Mathematically, we consider the total probability of all outcomes from a chance event to sum to a total of one. So if there are only two possible outcomes and they are equally probable, then the probability of each must be 0.5. Based on these probabilities, if the coin is flipped many times, I might expect to see roughly as many heads results as tails. But the word expect is important here. I expect that to happen because it is the most likely outcome, but it's certainly not the only possible outcome. I could flip a coin five times and it may well land on tails every single time. Or I might get three tails or zero tails out of five, out of five coin flips. If a coin is flipped five times, there are six possible outcomes, ranging from zero tails to five tails, but the likelihood of each outcome is different. Zero tails is a significantly less likely outcome than two tails, and we can represent the relative likelihood of the six possible outcomes as a probability density function. You might recognize this particular type of probability density function. It's called a binomial distribution, and it has an observable number of characteristics. One is that it's a discrete rather than continuous distribution. That means that we can get the values 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. But we can't get values in between. That is, my coin might land on tails one time or two times, but it will never be a value in between, such as 1.56. There is zero probability density at 1.56. This example of a binomial distribution is symmetrical, but not all binomial distributions are symmetrical. Here's your challenge. Google a term like application of a, of a binomial distribution and see if you can come up with a good example of where this distribution has been used to model something more interesting than coin flip outcomes. Most of the websites you will find will probably just provide a theoretical description as I've started to give here, but search through them until you can find a tangible example of a particular application. I'll select a couple of students to come up and tell us about the examples they found. You can use the classroom computer, including PowerPoint or a web browser, if you find that that's helpful to do so. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with.